the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Lands and Regional Administration, Buba Sanyang, appeared for the second time in the ongoing Local Government Commission of Inquiry into area councils' dealings. He continued his testimony on the operations of councils, budgetary and implementation of decentralization policies, amongst others. Decentralization is not actually successful. The, the local councils should look at their structures and then request, if I could remember well, request for these services to be, um, uh, um, uh, to be, to be um, uh, devolved to them so that they can manage. Um, uh, and equally, I have not seen any requests as well from the councils, um, uh, which looks like both sides were not prepared fully to actualize decentralization. Reforms in local governance through decentralization and devolution of power is seen to be an obstacle on relations between central government and some councils. P.S. Sanyam further clarifies. Are you aware that the valuation officer, or in this case perhaps the director of lands and surveys, is required by the act to carry out a valuation of all the properties within all the different area councils? Exactly. Do you know if such a valuation was prepared recently? Recently, no. Are you aware that such a valuation is supposed to be prepared every five years? Exactly. Is it conducted every five years? No. The area councils are obligated to use the last valuation report that was prepared? Yeah, the one available, yes. So it is very likely that the area councils have been undercharging for rates because the value of properties keep going up. Exactly. And is your ministry in a position or is your ministry willing to do anything to ensure that this problem is remedied? Yes, and to an extent, the ministry has done something. In his testimony, the accounting officer of the Lands Ministry outlined challenges, revenue, and expenditure for both his office and councils. It would be interesting to know that during last year's two billion project, two billion of our subvention that has been paid, we we, we sent it to councils to come up with projects. We consistently follow that ad hoc committee follow a particular council to be specific BCC to produce a budget of two billion to be spent on that money. The first pro the first submission was only five hundred thousand. We keep insisting we, you have to produce a budget a project that is two billion. The money is there, so that also goes to explain. Do we have the absorptional capacity or do we don't have interest in the funding? Because if we are given a fund of two billion, you can only produce a project of 500,000 up to the time that you have to be written to one, two, three times or call for a meeting one, two, three times to be able to adjust your project. That explains a lot about absorptivity, uh, absorb, absorptive capacity. Commission members also sought for clarifications while questioning the state of affairs of the ministry as a supervisor over councils. The commission is authorized to inquire into the conduct of all local government councils, in particular the circumstances surrounding the loans acquired for and on behalf of a local government council between the period of May 2018 to January 2023, and to ascertain whether applicable policies and procedures were followed in securing such loans, amongst others, instituted in February 2023 by President Adam Barrow. Sitting continues on Tuesday. Janke Ture, GRTS.